yeah the weather's been pretty bad recently it's windy it's raining so everything is wet i can't exactly go out for photos yeah you got any suggestions like anything 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 that's fine <laughs> i could do with anything you know i can't just go fly back to hong kong for some photos right you know how expensive that is i can't exactly go book a ticket right now and just go do it yeah shut up huh Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Hong Kong. Surprise, uh, I took a plane back. And originally I wanted to go vlog on the way when I was exiting the airport, but after just a nine hour flight and non-stop traveling, not in the mood at all. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of wind. Yes, I know I look sweaty because who the hell expects 26 degrees in late November? Certainly not me, but I guess it's on me. This is Hong Kong after all, so mmm. Uh, Second of all, yes, I know this is not like, ooh, Hong Kong, uh, we're in the middle of the city, something, something, bullshit, bullshit. Because um, that's behind me, and I'm not exactly here for sightseeing, I'm here for photos and, you know, just going back home. So, I'm going to do a little city tour, maybe, in some videos. We're going to go through the city later, I'm going to pick up something else, but uh, that's out of the question. For now, um, right now, I am in Fortress Hill. This is one of the few places that I can actually pronounce in English in Hong Kong. So. Don't expect much from now on. I'm at this little Japanese miniature garden looking thing. Uh, I'm here to get two photos only. And when I came up here, I saw these uh, construction fences, maintenance fences, whatever. And I was worried because I didn't check if this place was under maintenance. I uh, kind of forgot that I should be doing that from now on. Either way, uh, I'm going to set up and do one shot on the little bridge here. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here and do one shot at the little, I don't know how to call this thing, this thing behind me. Uh, after that, we're gonna leave, go somewhere else, a little bit more Hong Kongish. Let's start setting up.
All right, I've got the first shot set up like this. Uh, took me quite a while, I think just about an hour or so. Uh, not great, I'd say, because the wind is just horrible. I don't know why it's just so windy. I'm in like very, very sheltered place right now. There's buildings, high rises all around me, and for some reason, the wind's still blowing in. Anyway, and the second thing is, look at this blade dress. Took me a long while to get it set up. Ah, and uh, the wind just blows everything slightly, slightly, slightly out of place every single time. I've got to fix that. Uh, 15 to 35 at 20 millimeter. Originally, I wanted to use 35, but doesn't really work that way, does it? One flash at the back because the background itself is very, very dark. So I wanted some light reflecting back on it. One more flash over here, illuminating the umbrella to the side like that, giving a bit more light and one light on top of the camera, illuminating just the eyes. That's about it. And let's take a look at the shot. Looking good. All right, let's go over to the little thing over there and set up the second shot. Alright, second shot set up. Uh, this one was a lot faster, around 20 to 30 minutes, because I didn't have to set up like everything else. Most of the stuff was already set up, but uh, packing this up is going to be a nightmare. Anyway, um, 24 to 70 at 65-ish millimeter. I wanted to use 70, but I really didn't want to get too back, because with the wind like this, not ideal. Uh, one flash over here, shining right onto the doll. One light on top of the camera and one flash at the back trying to illuminate the doors of the place and making the background a little bit more balanced in a way let's take a look at the shot looking good all right let's move on i've gotten like a few really nasty mosquito bites and uh i still need to change the clothes and pack up let's get going all right, I moved all my stuff to a more secluded corner so I can change the clothes and pack up everything. And uh, good lord, I don't even see anything. Look at that. Ugh, a lot of stuff I need to pack. I originally wanted to do more of the changing clothes and also the packing sequence, but due to battery concerns and everything, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to pack up and uh, get the hell out of here and leave as soon as possible because i got to go pick up an SD card and get lunch and head to the next spot. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, after getting lost in the city, I couldn't find a bus stop, so I got to a new one uh, and then the bus was just stuck in a traffic jam, so what should have been 10 minutes ended up being like 30. And I have finally arrived at the, um, well you can call it a tram station, 
I don't know if it still works or not. Uh, you can get on the tram like there-ish or so, I think around here. And I'm here to get the shot I couldn't get last time. So there's this little bridge behind me like that, like an arch. And originally, last time, I kind of uh, vaulted over this fence and just went over there. Don't think that works this time, especially with, you know, maintenance workers working on stuff. With this being said, I don't know if I can get even a half body shot with that. Uh, ah, tram. There we go. I don't think you can get on the um, tram at this station. It's under maintenance. I might just, you know, plagiarize my friend again. Another half body shot. At least it's something, so I didn't waste my time coming here just for nothing. So I'm gonna measure around. Let's see what we can get. After fiddling around for a bit, I think this is gonna work all right. So let me see if I can get this into frame. With a camera like this and a tripod like that, maybe getting something, let's say half body with a train running through and a little bit of this, um, bloody hell, this bridge going on the back. I'm not sure how well that's gonna work and it's just a blatant copy of my friend's photo, but who cares? I came all the way out here and I'm not leaving empty handed. All for the best, let's set up. All right, we have our third shot of the day set up. Uh, I'm holding one of the lights and I'm not using any flashes because, well, let me show you. So I'm using the 15 to 35 again at 24 millimeter related to crop in, I'd say 16 by 10 or 16 by nine, making it a little bit more focused. And there's not exactly anywhere for me to mount a flash is there. And with how this place is not exactly needing a flash either, more of a, light looks softer and uh, give it a bit of a vintage look kind of place. Yes, I know, very risky again, every single time. So with two lights, one on top of the camera, one in my hand, shining it from here-ish. All right, let's take a look at the shot. I'd say it looks decent. It's literally just a copy from my uh, friend's photo. I'm not, I can't see the tram because, well, I can't wait for the tram. I have to take it when I'm like waiting for it. So I'm gonna pack up and uh, wait for it to get darker and head to the last spot of the day. It's a Christmas tree photo. I'm doing it a bit early in case there's just too many people, you know, nearing Christmas. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna start my rambling and I'll see you in a bit. All right, I just got done with that bloody photo and I will say I got like a bite on my neck right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bites on my arm and uh, one more on my leg, I think. This is like a mosquito face. Jesus Christ, I'm never coming back here again. It's like late November, and somehow it's 26 degrees, and there's still a bunch of mosquitoes. This is ridiculous. <sighs> I haven't walked a lot today, and I'm not exactly tired, I'm just mentally exhausted, but I feel like walking down is gonna be a good exercise, so uh, without further ado, let's go.
Okay, I may have underestimated how fast things are, so you might see the sky has not darkened down yet. I'm currently at uh, this place, I'm not going to pronounce it, I'm just going to shove in the video, whatever. Uh, they have a sort of Christmas tree event going on, so hopefully I can do something about it. My hopes are not high with how many kids there are and how many people there are, but I am determined, I'd say. Either way, uh, I might get a shot right at this position right here. Hopefully nobody gets in the way and no kids comes along and just, you know, pulls on my stuff. Uh, all for the best, but I'm gonna wait for the sky to get down a little bit more before I get the shot. Perhaps in 30 minutes that should do so. An early end today. Either way, um, all for the best, let's set up. Alright, I've skipped over the um, setting up portion of it because there's just too many people and I'm gonna make this very, very quick. 15.35 and 20mm f2.8 using a higher shutter speed and higher ISO because, well, Strong winds, a lot of people. Only two lights, not using flashes because, well, night scene, you don't need flashes. Let's take a look at the shot. Looking good. All right, let's back up. Okay, that's the fourth photo for today and I will say that I am just so tired, I'm absolutely spent and I actually really don't want to record anything, but you got to do the outro, right? Anyway, uh, that's four shots for today and just in case I don't upload anything or I don't go to another Christmas tree for some reason, I don't know, there's one more I want to go to, but just in case I don't go to one, uh, an early Merry Christmas to anyone watching this video. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of me run around like a chicken and um, potentially harassed by kids now, now that I'm in Hong Kong. And I will see you in the next video. Lemon out.